Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you if remote play will work with your Xbox Series X. You can test your connection, etc. with this. So on the home screen of your Series X, let's go to settings, go to general and go to network settings. And we want to go to where it says test remote play. Very simple, right? So you can see the network that your connection uh, is connected to. So I have a five gigahertz connection, which can be the most, uh, the one of the quickest right now. You might have six or seven in the future or maybe if we get to eight or 10 or whatever. But we can test our setup currently, just going to test remote play and this will load for about 15 to 20 seconds. So this little circle is gonna keep spinning and just wait until it's complete. And then it's gonna give us some information. It says you're good to go. There are ways to improve your setup, but remote play should work. So it's giving me some suggestion, NAT type moderate. You probably wanna get NAT type open uh, upstream bandwidth over nine uh, megabytes per second. Network latency uh, less than 60. NAT type wireless. There should be uh, some interferences in my home with uh, all the different routers that I have, but uh, outbound port open, Bluetooth controller, uh, controller confirm, controller update, okay. So it looks like I'm all good to do, uh, go here, but I can go to close and I wanna go to test network speed and statistics. So you want to make sure you have a quick connection. If you don't, well, you're probably not going to be getting the best results. Now, you probably want to plug in your Xbox Series X with a little uh, cable in the back, like a Cat5 cable or something like that, and directly connect it to your wireless or just your, your router in general. And that will provide you the best results. The latency should be significantly reduced and you won't have so much uh, lag when you're moving around. So you can see my download speed right here, 217. Looks like everything is good. If you're getting down in like the 60s and 70s for your download speed, that might be concerning, especially if you're on wireless. If you're connected directly, it might provide you better results, but wireless, you're gonna you experience worse results with remote play. So make sure everything is directly connected if you can. If you're gonna be connecting via your phone, well, you can do the best you can with that. Just make sure you're connecting five gigahertz or above with your wireless, uh, just so you get the quickest download speeds available to you. And make sure you're close enough to your wireless router too. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six tech.